I did ask your fans mm. for some questions. Nice. Last time I did this, they were the wackiest, weirdest questions, mm -hmm. but they were fun. So, mm -hmm. and they're not stuff that I would usually come up with. So okay. I like to ask them. Uh, what do you call your fans, by the way? If Everyone asks me confused, this. Everyone asks this. They yeah. were like, "Are they Louis or are they legends?" Or I was like, "I don't actually know." Look, they can if they want to have a little tag and name for themselves. They can, but I've never. Had, sometimes they're a bit cringe to me. Them names. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they've got one for themselves, but I don't. What would you like them to be called, though? Legends is quite cool. Yeah. Louis Little Legends. It's a bit gimmicky when you put a name on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't You're know. too cool for that. Maybe. Okay, um, <laughs> here we go with the random fan questions. Okay, let's have I it. had over 4,000, by the way, and I don't know how you deal <laughs> with replies mm. to your tweets. It's because tough, yeah. this was insane. Um, when was the last time you went to a zoo? Wow, that's a proper random question. <laughs> Well, I'd not been to a zoo until, I, until I'd been in band, actually. I'd never been to a zoo before. There's a little bit of trivia for you. Uh, I think maybe about two years ago, two, three years ago, and it was London Zoo. It's okay. good there, isn't it? You should be taking Freddie to the zoo. Yes. It's perfect age yeah, now, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. Uh, I love the zoo. Okay, uh, what's your go-to dance move? Well, I don't really dance too much unless I've had a few drinks, and then it's just the typical kind of rave, you know what I mean? Keeping <laughs> it simple. Yeah, yeah. Gun fingers, yeah. Nice. Exactly. So we're not going to see any dancing on tour then? Absolutely not. No oh, way. What? No way. Maybe losing myself at music a bit, but there'll be no dancing. No oh, chance. Come on. No chance. You were doing that back in no. the 1D days. I, I don't think so. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> if you do like a cover, surely you'll do like a 1D cover. Yeah, but there were no dance floor. routines in One Direction. Yes. I, I demanded well, there wasn't. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm thinking the videos there were. Um, I'll save this one for last because I like that one. Uh, can you or will you please bring back suspenders? I guess they oh mean bra they braces. That's tragic. <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> um, you know, when you grow up in the industry, you make some real... <laughs> When you grow up in general, you make some real fashion errors. You know, I grew up yeah. in the industry and made some real appalling decisions, as we all did at the start of our career. One of mine was wearing those, what do you call them again? The uh, braces. Braces. I think we braces. Call them braces. Yeah. Whew, bad time for me. That's why I expect one of my mates or one of the lads to say, look, lad, as a mate, take them off. You know what I mean? <laughs> but nobody, nobody. That's why this job's tough, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, mm, definitely. Mm, Those decisions. Yeah. But this morning, you did well. Like, great job, yeah, uh, yeah, jeans, yeah, thank white you. trainers. Thank you. You sound surprised. Uh, no, I mean, that's good. <laughs> you clearly evolved. I have Your evolved. fashion's I have, evolved. I have. All right. I didn't think I'd be doing this because this is what YouTubers do, but... Louis, what is your skincare routine, please? I mean, unless I'm at work, I'm pretty uh, lazy like that, really. I don't really have a skincare routine. Just wash my face. That's about <laughs> it, really. Keep it simple. Not, none of those fancy face creams or like that. Not, not for like me. a Korean mask or anything like that? No, no, no not for me. Not for me. Not I get terrorised by my mates if I pulled one of them out. <laughs> That's fine. Um, important question here, which you're apparently quite passionate about. Maybe what not. is your favourite type of cereal? I am passionate about cereal, actually. I have, I have, not so good these days, but back in the day, I used to have a pretty phenomenal cereal cupboard. I'm talking 30, 40 boxes in there. Um, it's a big <laughs> question. Um, <laughs> it seems it's, it's, it seems hard to go against Cocoa Pops, so I'll say Cocoa Pops. Oh, yeah, yeah. The dream. I mean, yeah, the dream. standard. Cocoa yeah. Pops is the only thing I have in my cupboards. So. Mm, smart, good choice. Smart. Good choice. Mm. These are ridiculous, by the way. <laughs> but that's why I... That's they why are, they're good, yeah. Well, also, I couldn't get away in a serious interview. <laughs> if I came up with yeah, these yeah, questions... Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. <laughs> they would seriously mm. uh, reconsider <laughs> my job. Um, are you planning on getting any new tattoos soon? Maybe one related to your solo era? Um, yeah, I've been saying I'm going to get some more tattoos for a while, but I just don't seem to get round to it. Um, I've had this pretty bad one that Robbie Williams did on the <laughs> X Factor, which... What look at that. that? It was meant to be an X. It looks like a religious cross. It isn't a religious cross. Um, and look how bad that is. Uh, yeah, you can definitely get that, like, improved, maybe. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> but I'm going to try and have this improved by an 85-year-old guy. I'm doing, a, like, a bucket list uh, video uh, oh. with this amazing guy called Richard from Leeds. And one of the things he's going to do is try and tattoo me at the age of 85. So is it going to be better or worse than Robbie Williams? I don't know. I'll wait and so see. so much trust. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, it's not really trust. I mean, <laughs> unless it's brilliant, which it might not be, I probably might have it covered up. You know what I mean? But we'll see. 
Okay. What mm -hmm. would you get, do you think, if you could get something think... to mark your solo career? Oh, um, to, uh, maybe once I've had the album out, I'll probably have the album title. You're not going to give me any clues as to what that is I yet. don't really know what that is yet. Oh, you haven't no, no, okay. no. Um, let's do one more. Lu <laughs> Louis, why are you so adorable? <laughs> it hurts. And I, I actually I don't had really that know a lot. To that. I, I had really that a lot. That. So there's clearly a huge demand mm. for you to answer that question. I don't really know how to answer that question. I'm, I'm blessed from being from Doncaster. That's probably why. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, last time I asked you, uh, why are you the son? The I can't even remember now what I. And said. what was my reply? Uh, probably something. Is, it was something very similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. You haven't got used to answering those questions yet. Uh, it's, I think it's difficult for anyone to answer. Really, <laughs> what's the question? <laughs> um, has it? Sunk in though, this level of fame, like that comes with having been in one direction, then doing X Factor and seeing your fans, like how incredibly passionate they are, does that ever sink in? Not really, not really. I mean, you know, we did something special uh, around this single campaign with global hotspots and put hotspots around the world mm. for fans to go and find. and. Every single time I, 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 I call upon them, they're there, and it's incredible, but it surprises me every time as well. And the, and the level of dedication from them is, uh, it's amazing. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.